done. So the first thing I'm doing is tapping some of the Urban Decay Primer Potion all over the eye area. And this is just going to prep the eyes for the products that are to come and it'll ensure that they'll last all day and it'll prevent them from creasing. Next then I'm taking a brown coal pencil and I'm using this to map out the shape of Pikachu's tail. So I'm starting out on the outer corner of my eye and I'm drawing an M shape. And I really take my time with the outline and check back with the other eye just to make sure the shape is the same and the shapes are level and even. Then I'm drawing a line out and making a box shape and then I'm pulling my line across and down to meet the lash line. It's much easier just to copy the pattern, it sounds a lot harder than it is. Um, I'm using then this pencil for pennies called the Miracle Pencil and it is just that. You can use it to correct lip liner mishaps, to spot uh, conceal in the waterline to brighten and open up the eyes and I'm using it now to sharpen up the shape but you can use it as an eraser too and then go back in with your brown liner if you've made a mistake with the pattern. Next then I'm taking the Note Cosmetics Precision Eyeliner and I'm drawing a line across the lash line over to meet up with the tail and I'm using a felt tip pen because I have more control with this than a liquid. Now I'm going in with the liquid because I just need to fill in the outline now. I have my shape mapped out so it's literally a matter of colouring it in and to do that I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade brown. Now it's a very dark brown but a brown all the same. Once I've filled in that part across the upper lash line I'm then going around the shape of the tail that I created a few moments ago with my pencil. And liquid liner can be very hard to work with at the best of times, never mind if you were trying to do this shape freehand. And that's why I began with the cold pencil and now I just have to trace over that and Bob's your uncle. So I apply a light amount of pressure with the liquid liner first and then once I'm confident with the shape I go over it again. And it just takes a bit more time but it's worth the end result. Now I'm filling in the tail with some colour, I'm picking up a yellow eyeshadow and using an angled brush to fill in the tail. I'm using an angled brush because of its shape, I can literally stamp down my brush, um, angle it in different directions, just stamping down and I can get right into all the nooks and crannies. I'm adding a few layers of this shadow to build up the intensity. Alternatively you could apply a white eyeshadow base to the area first and then add your yellow to make it pop even more. Taking that brown liquid liner again now, I'm drawing a few strokes up into the yellow because Pikachu has these little hair strokes in this area of his tail and I'm just feathering my brush upwards to get that hair like effect. For the lower lash line then, I'm using a small bullet shaped brush to smoke some of that yellow eyeshadow down long there. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and I'm going in with the shade Cypress Umber on a stiff smudger brush and I'm using this to deepen up the look but also to pick up the colour in Pikachu's tail and I'm patting this halfway across the lash line then using my bullet shape brush again to just smoke everything out. Then I'm taking the shade Noir from the palette which is a matte black and I'm using an angled brush to pack this on the outer third of the lid. Once I've got that shadow in place then I'm going back in with my bullet shaped brush and smoking out the shadow all the way across the lower lash line. For the waterline then I'm going back in with that cold pencil, the one that I used before to map out the shape of the tail and I'm running that inside of the eye. Then I'm taking the shadow glistening from the ABH palette and patting this around the tear duct of the eye to add a golden sparkle there. I'm using the No Cosmetics Mascara now to blend my own lashes in with the Sosu ones I just applied. And that's it, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I had a ball creating it, and I'll catch you all soon.